Have you thought like, is it a good thing to watch anime or movies to learn Japanese? Well, there's a different opinion on this, but I'm gonna share what's the pro and cons of learning Japanese with anime. Let's go! Konnichiwa, my name is Nick, I'm an online Japanese tutor. Today, I'm gonna share what you can actually learn from anime and also what's good and bad to learn. Here we go. Alright, let's go with pro. Pro number one, you can keep engaged to Japanese. This is an important thing to learn a new language, isn't it? Anime or movies are a great source to improve your listening skills and also reading skills if you use subtitles. Pro number two, you can learn new words with relevant situations through the anime. Using a dictionary and learning new words by translating is kind of boring and direct translation is not always right. Pro number three, it helps to improve your fluency. Before I explain this, let me ask you a question. How did you learn your first language? You didn't know any language when you were born? So imagine now, how a baby learned a language. They listen to you, they cry, and learn how they utter, mimic, and parents praise you when you say a word correctly, and you feel happy. So you can know the word you just said was right. Then, grew up a little, point an airplane and you say, plane, because you know you will be happy. So listen, speak, read, and write. This is the order which child learns a language. Well, how anime helps to improve your fluency. Like the baby learns a language. You listen to the anime and you speak. But Nick, it sometimes bothers me to learn Japanese with anime. Yes, because you're an adult. What do I mean? So, you know what the bilingual is? They speak two languages because they learned the, those languages when they're child. Oh. But now, you, you're learning a language as a second language. So, how adults learn a thing is they think logically because you know how to learn a thing. That's why people can feel the confusion. Oh, man. So, if you learn a thing without understanding, this is what it is. Okay. This is what that is. Okay. Too simple. Well, it's okay sometimes, but it's difficult to use what you've learned practically. Unless you're smart or you take the time to learn a thing from A to Z. It takes forever. So again, how anime can help you fluency? Because you listen to the language and you speak what you've learned. Input and output. This is how. Okay, now let's go see what's bad thing learning Japanese with anime. Cons 1. Unnatural. A lot of people notice that each character speaks differently. This is so-called character language. To characterize each character, that's why the character languages exist. Mostly, okay. you can hear the yes. character language at the end of the sentence. <laughs> All languages in anime are based on general Japanese, so basically, they're natural, but you have to be careful to learn Japanese from anime. So because of this, people say learning Japanese from anime is a bad idea. But Ghibli anime, they use less character language than any other anime. Cons number two, 
it's difficult to associate to the real situation. But as you know, what you can enjoy with anime is you can dive into the virtual reality. But have you experienced what you saw on anime in this real world? Like fighting or dramatic story? If you're looking for a fastest way to improve the Japanese skills, this is the reason. However, you can easily remember what they say in anime, so it helps you to speak fast and also fluency, like I mentioned earlier. Alright, these are the pros and cons of learning Japanese with anime. And here's the question of the day. What do you think about learning Japanese with anime? Let me know from the comment section. Me personally, I think and learning any languages with anime or movies is a good thing. Alright, if you think this video is helpful, hit the like button, subscribe my channel, and leave a comment if you got any questions about Japanese language, culture, history, and also video content requests. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Arigatou!